3.2. Describe how radioactive isotopes may be metabolized by the body to bind or accumulate in the target organ. So we're adding on to 3.1. So radioisotopes have the same chemical properties as stable isotopes of the same element. Thus, it is suitable um, for a chemical compound to be chemically synthesized and made or altered to include the radioisotope. So radioisotopes are commonly used as traces in medical diagnosis. And these can be tagged or labeled radiopharmaceutical will behave in the same way as non-tagged um, compounds, which means that the ones that we just synthesized or altered will be very similar to the um, non-tagged compounds that are in the surroundings. So when introduced to the body, its emitted radiation can be detected by a gamma camera. As the compound interacts with the patient's biological processes, it may accumulate an organ as it is metabolized, so being used by that um, cells or um, organ. So how are the radioactive cells um, used and um, for diagnosis? Well, we use several different types of isotopes. You can see technetium-99, iodine in the, in the table there, and fluorine-18 and so on. We have different radioisotopes for different medical applications. So looking at the table just down there, you can see there is a few examples. Um, and also it gives us um, the half-life and radiation admitted and what's its application. However, a few that I want to talk about that's not in the table is americium 241 which has a half-life of 432 years. And its application is for heart imaging. So this is something that we'll discuss at ANSTO regularly. Um, and the other one that um, is not mentioned as regular um, in class is looking at um, carbon-11. So carbon-11 has a half-life of 20.3 minutes. And it's a radio tracer in PET scans to study the brain. So that's two there that's not in a table that you might want to think about. It's... Um, main concept here is its half-life is dependent on the application so we don't want a half-life that is extremely long um, obviously for health concerns and obviously radiation given off in the surroundings but we also want to have a half-life that is appropriate to conduct the scan and also also to synthesize the um, isotope to get it to the hospitals okay so um, the organs um, will metabolize the um, isotope we can then get a a good understanding of how that organ is functioning and also the structure of the organ by its gamma or radiation admitted, okay?